Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Sale Process. In today's video, we will discuss about the sales warning. So, warning messages in Odoo are used to alert users about the potential issues or the situations that require attention. To set the sales warning, we can just dive into the sales module and we just need to enable the sales warning from the configuration settings. So, this would allow you to set the warning for the customers as well as for the product. So, we know in some situations, the Customers may not be loyal. So we just need to know who are not the loyal customers and sometimes the product may get damaged or due to some issues or the other issues we cannot just use that product for selling. So we can set the sales warning over there. So let's move on to the products here. And in the products, we can set the warning. So I'll be considering different products such as cabinet wood doors, cabinet cable management box as well as casual t-shirt. So here under the cabinet wood doors and here we can find the sales tab. Over there I'll be setting the warning as out of stock for this item as we don't have any quantity in our stock. And we can just consider the other item that is cable management box. Here also we can set the warning uh, for this product as blocked message as this is damaged. So we just don't need to enter this product into our um, invoice lines. So whenever a customer tries to purchase cable management box, we just need to block this product from selling. So we can just set the warning like uh, as blocked message and we can provide the message as damaged. Now we are just going to consider the other product as casual t-shirt. And under the casual t-shirt, you can see that I'm not using any warning message over here. So I'll be using it as no message. Now let's consider the customers. So let's move on to the customers and I'll be considering three customers over here, such as Joel Wills, Deco Addict and Azure Interior. So if we want to set the warning for customers under the internal nodes, we can set the warning. So as you just drag down here, you can see that we can set the warning on sales orders. So I'll be not using any warning for uh, the customer Joel Wills. So I'll be setting it as no message. Now let's move on to the other customers. So to move on with the other customer, you can just simply use this next button. And here you can see that the other customer is um, Deco Addict. And here you can see that uh, he has a due in his previous purchase. So uh, while we are just using this customer or when this customer is making additional sales order, we have to keep in mind that he has a uh, deal with his previous purchase. So I'll be providing a message likewise. And let's move on with the other customer as Azure Interior. As Azure Interior is just loyal customer, we don't want to deal uh, with any sales order from this customer. So here you can see that I have just given a blocking message so that this uh, customer cannot be used for any sales order. Now let's create a new quotation for that. You can just want the orders and create the quotation. By clicking on new button, this would let you to create a new quotation. So I am going to choose the customer as Joelvis. As I just choose Joelvis here, you can see that we are not getting any messages as we have set no message as the warning for the customer Joelvis. Now let me choose the product trim here. So here you can find different products such as cabinet wood door. So as I just choose the cabinet wood door here, you can see that the product is just out of stock. Even if the product is out of stock, you can just add the item into the order lines. Now let me close that. And here you can see as we just, um, just close that wizard, you can see we can still add the item into the order lines. Now let me choose the other product, which is a cable management box. So as I just Add the cable management box here you can see that we will get a wizard that showing the warning for cable management box uh, as damaged and here you can see it's blocked from adding the item into our order lines so we cannot just use that item for buy so uh, here we cannot add that item into the order lines but whenever we just try to add that item we will get the wizard or uh, a warning that shows that the item is just damaged now you can just go with the other one that is the t-shirt. So as I just choose the t-shirt here, you can see we can just uh, choose the yeah 
uh, items uh, frame here and uh, you can just confirm that uh, and we haven't set any warning over here. Now let's move on with the other customers. So I'm going to choose the customer as Decoded. As I just use Decoded here, you can see that Decoded has due in his previous purchase. So we just need to keep in mind that while we are making our next sales order. Now let me just go with the other customer. Uh, that is the Azure Interior. As uh, Azure Interior is this loyal customer here, you can see that we will get a warning message for Azure Interior that by blocking him from making further or uh, future purchases. So we cannot use this customer for making future purchases. So this is how we just deal with the sales warning that would always draw an attention um, by popping up the issues with certain customers or products. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.